Today we're going to visit Giorama Growers. It's about a five minute drive outside of Nelson. Let's go in and meet Case and Imelda Gribma. Okay, we're in the main retail greenhouse now at Giorama Growers and we're going to meet two of the three main principals that operate this great company. We have Case and Imelda Gribma. Hi. Hi. Morning, Raven. And Case's brother George can't make it here today, but he's yeah, an integral Yeah, George is in Cologne actually picking up his kids. And he's an integral part of this operation. Absolutely. Very he's a great hand yeah. guy here. Okay, so you guys have been in business for almost 44 years. Right, we're going to be planting our 43rd uh, crop, starting with our poinsettia crop in uh, a couple of weeks. So we're looking forward to that, although spring is uh, kind of still just uh, a, not a distant memory, but it's been a recent memory. Yes. Well, it's great to see a husband and wife team and a brother all out to, um, to, uh, to work together, to put together such a great business like this and, and to well, stick to it. Well, there's the yes. three of us, but uh, like we mentioned earlier, we have uh, wonderful staff. There's uh, over 20 people that work here. And, yes. Well, uh, absolutely, without them, there would be no such thing. Absolutely yeah. not. Okay, well, thanks a lot. And I guess, Case, you and I are going to go on a tour of the whole facility. If you give That's people right. a We're going to give, you a, give everybody a little online tour and welcome everybody to come out. And I thank you, uh, Ray, for uh, allowing us that opportunity. Oh, it's my pleasure. You provided such a great service to Nelson and the area for a long time. I really enjoyed doing this. And we can just tell everybody, if they want to learn more, go to GeoramaGrowers.com. That's yes. right. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, thanks, let's Raven. start off with the garden center here. Give us a little tour. Sure, well, this is the entrance to our uh, main uh, retail center of our operation. Uh, most of the wholesale greenhouses are done for uh, the season. We're going to be planting actually poinsettias, <laughs> believe it or not, in a couple of weeks, which is uh, about the middle of July. But come on in. Great. Uh, that's where the folks will be greeted by our wonderful staff who are going to be uh, helping them with all their uh, questions, etc. Boy, this is quite an extensive room in here. You've got just about everything, eh? garden tools, implements. Yeah, we really pride ourselves in uh, being uh, able to serve uh, the public with just kind of a one-stop shop. So you can buy a plant and all the tools and accessories uh, that you need to plant it, including all sorts of organic uh, pest control, fertilizers, uh, soil amendments, uh, which you would see outside. But in here, it's all the hard goods, obviously. You must have quite a large number of people working for you in this facility. Well, at the peak eh? of the season, there's 24 to 28 with some few extra part-timers. Is that right, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful in here. 40,000 square feet of heated greenhouses, which is over an acre of, of greenhouses alone. The uh, bedding plants, uh, this is one of our main retail greenhouses here. You can see it's a, nice, it's a beautiful glass greenhouse. Very airy, lots of light, uh, just the plants just do wonderful here. And by the way, every single plant that we grow here, which is over 500,000 raven, are produced right here in our own facilities by our own staff. Half a million plants? More than half a million. And you produce them all here? All of these plants that you see here and then some, yeah. Well, that's incredible. What a variety too. A lot too. of work by a lot of dedicated people, let me tell you. All the beautiful baskets that you see on Baker Street are grown right here. So you supply the city with all its floral all arrangements the throughout the town? All the in the city of Nelson, the Parks Department uh, hang baskets, as well as the city of Castlegar, Revelstoke, uh, Golden, um, and others as well. My mind kind of went blank on Wow, that's there, really far-reaching. Yeah. That's incredible. So yeah. tell me, what time of the year do you actually start the whole thing up? Well, get we ready start for right at the end of January for our bedding plant crop. And we do all of our propagating uh, between the month of January, the end of January and about the middle of uh, March. And all the young starts are then transplanted by a crew and um, all the baskets are planted and everything come, kind of comes online. So that we're in peak production around the middle of May. And um, by the end of June, we're pretty much down to what you see here. And there must be quite a flurry of activity for Mother's Day, eh? Oh, it's crazy it's a zoo here it's like a circus <laughs> no, I don't good. know I don't know how we manage it sometimes but uh, we do okay well let's check uh, let's move on to another part of your georama yeah, growers here we're uh, walking up to the uh, outdoor section of the uh, garden center which uh, contains all of our uh, ornamental plants trees shrubs uh, fruit trees berries perennial plants all sorts of outdoor statuary. Uh, there's one that looks like you Raven Alma yeah no. a bit of a devil in there <laughs> I can relate to that guy so uh, we We've got extensive plantings that we uh, um, designed and installed by our staff just to show people, showcase uh, for folks uh, the different perennials and flowering shrubs and trees. 
We've got our water feature here that Mike and I put in. Beautiful pond. It is nice. Goodness gracious. Wow, very impressive. Well, that gives people kind of an idea of what we do when we're not here because uh, we incorporate uh, water features and other um, landscape uh, ideas in at people's homes. So we do a lot of landscape. In fact, that's how our business started, by being just landscapers. So you're actually act as consultants too. We do so, yeah. We've got, uh, and every member of our staff is a trained horticulturist, just not anybody. So. Um, oh, really? Yeah. George and I are both uh, graduates of the BCIT uh, horticulture program. And our nursery manager is um, uh, from Ontario and she has a degree in horticulture. And um, everybody's gonna know uh, when I say Jerry's name. Jerry's a product of Old College in Alberta. Oh. And he's one of our main landscape uh, professionals. So uh, we can see all sorts of outdoor displays, including bonsais and um, miniature trees and plants of every description. What a variety of plants and just beautiful displays and rock work and yeah. uh, it's a good way for people to come out here and kind of visualize well, what they want in their yard. And that's kind of the idea behind it. Uh, so here you have a beautiful um, rosy glow uh, barberry so people can see what the bigger variety this, looks like. This one here? Up. Yeah, that one's been there about six years so that's kind of the ultimate size. So it's really nice to be able to demonstrate to people rather than just reading things off a label. And I see that the, uh, you also have your plant of the week. We have a plant of the week that we kind of highlight every week. Um, this week it's going to be a surprise, so you have to uh, go online on our website or uh, welovenelson.com. Very good. Our waterfall features. Beautiful. Uh, we do a lot of topiaries as well. This spiral cut uh, Alberta conical spruce is uh, one of our favorites. Well, that's what a topiary is. That's a topiary. That I doesn't thought... grow like that. That takes a lot of work and effort. And Jerry is the one with the, uh, we call him Edward Scissorhands around here. I can see why it takes real artistic sort of an eyeball to be able to put this together. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Well, okay. let's go inside of the uh, main perennial greenhouse. The main perennial greenhouse? This is a 5,000 square foot greenhouse that's uh, dedicated to growing uh, herbaceous perennials. Ooh, wow, you've really done a lot of work here. Yeah, we put in a new floor this year just to make it a little bit more customer friendly. Uh, people can get in here that are mobility impaired. We're trying to improve it, although we are in a bit of a hillside here. So it's a bit of a challenge, but people have really appreciated that. And they can uh, bring their carts indoors now, which uh, is an improvement over the past. And hopefully helps them, you know, makes it easier for them to shop and carry more plants out. Better for us, better for them. Yeah, it looks like it's really, you, you, you've uh, made it really easy for the customers. Everything's on wheels. Yeah, there's wide aisles. Uh, it's very spacious. Uh, again, it's a light, open, airy greenhouse. It's very nice even in a hot summer day because it's quite shaded. If you look at the roof, you can see we sprayed uh, whitewash. And that really helps to keep the, the glare off and it keeps the greenhouse cool. The side panels are all been removed to get airflow. I can so feel the air. It's really nice and cool in here. Even on a hot day, it's very comfortable, especially with all the water features running and we hose the walkways down, get some humidity in the air. Gorgeous. So in here, that you'd find uh, ground covers, shade-loving plants, vines, creepers, uh, perennials of every description. So whatever your garden is going to require for a constant blooming throughout the season, you'd find it here. You see beautiful daylilies just starting to bloom here. Yeah, and I can really appreciate the way you've taken the time to sort of lay everything out in here to make it very friendly and, oh, and decorative and attractive. So a bit of a deck out this uh, doorway here, and it's uh, trying oh. to encourage people, even if they just have a little deck, what they could do to landscape with a little bit of privacy fencing. Oh, nice. Some seating areas, a uh, few plants or shrubs and flowers in pots, and even a small deck like this, which is less than... Uh, 150 square feet you can see you can you can really make it uh, a little bit of your own paradise a few plants or shrubs in the background to give you some privacy from the road and and voila you've you, you right? created an environment that's just friendly and natural and i love all the, the colors and the textures and the different elements you've used here the well, wood the that's clay uh, mainly lynn maddox uh she's our uh, one of our um, senior sales staff and she really really works hard to make everything as personal and like you say really uh, captures uh, you know the essence of what a beautiful tranquil little private space could be for you. It's amazing what a person can accomplish with some imagination and the right plants and uh, information. Have, uh, five acres of outdoor nursery stock. Uh, not just a little bit, a lot. Wow. We've got roses on one side. We've got a beautiful uh, entry to the retail part of our nursery with 
This is our uh, section that ha that uh, displays most of our flowering shrubs. And again, we've set up a few displays here now that we have a bit of room, so people can kind of group we group plants together. People can see what works together well. So it, it's amazing for me, you know, because I'm not that well versed in horticulture, the the number of plants that ever lastly grow in the West Kootenay. Oh, it's unbelievable. Outside of the Lower Mainland, we've got one of the mildest climates. It's kind of an interior, it is an interior rainforest. Oh. Lots of uh, mild weather, uh, protected areas uh, along North Shore and Fairview are just as uh, zoned, almost the same as uh, Vancouver. So it's amazing what you can grow, kind of, for uh, sure. Peters out into the uh, our sold area, which is uh, an area that we uh, set aside, we kind of fenced off. People that want to uh, purchase their plants now, but uh, aren't going to be around right now to plant them. We can hold them, they pay for them, we hold them, and they come back when they're ready to plant them. And we take care of them. And so it's, it's, a, it's a reservation area for people. Exactly. You hey, can, and uh, you'll actually take care of the plants for them absolutely. until they pick them up? So uh, people even phone us from Alberta. There's a lot of Albertans uh, that uh, come a little bit later on uh, in July and uh, even later. And uh, they'll request special plants or plantings. and. We definitely uh, can accommodate that. That's a wonderful service. Okay. So just around the corner, our shade house where I we uh, display all of our uh, rhododendrons and other uh, plants. Uh, plant of the week is actually right here. It's the Calmiolatifolia, the mountain laurel, oh. which I've done blooming, but they're still a gorgeous uh, evergreen shrub. Oh, the plants look so healthy. Very good. At our uh, fruit tree, so uh, everything from peaches, apricots, nectarines, plums, cherries, apples you name it. In this section that we're looking at now is all of our shade and flowering trees. Uh, the smaller sizes we start from a number five pot and go up to about a 15 gallon size. And uh, in the distance, if we walk down this way a bit, uh, Raven will be able to see some of our caliper grade uh, shade trees, which gives you instant shade. Oh, is that right? So you, you actually supply the potting soil, the pots, the decorations, the ornaments, and the information that everybody needs to, to actually take these plants home yeah, and have them grow really successfully. Yeah, we take great pride in being able to uh, assemble everything that a person might need to create their own little uh, piece of paradise. Uh, a lot of homes these days are being built in uh, reclaimed uh, industrial sites which have not even a blade of grass on them. So really popular are uh, larger caliper grade trees, so trees here that would give people instant shade. You can see by me standing here. So these are nice, healthy, large trees that are gonna give uh, folks instant privacy or shade. So if you're in an area that's uh, bare of uh, you know vegetation or trees, you can start right from scratch and get her going. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> and then we got <clears throat> other sections yet. There's more to see. Well, I think this gives people I think so. a good taste of what it is that's going on at GeoramaGrowers.com. And thanks a lot, Case. I really Thank appreciate you, you taking the time to uh, give, us, give us a tour. Oh, it's my pleasure. And we'll recommend that people come down and say hello to you and Imelda. And come back anytime. Okay, take care. Okay.